Salutations everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Spaz 2. I'm your host, Springboy20, and when we last left off, you might notice there's a lot of different things from where we last left off. For starters, we are threat level 35 and level 14. I did some grinding after that attempt on the signal last time, or maybe I attempted it off camera and just died horribly, so but regardless, I've power leveled a lot, I've upgraded my ship. Let's just show you the new ship assembly. And you'll see that we definitely have a lot more fancier parts. The entire core line here is nothing but actually non-junk parts. The only junk parts we still have remaining are some of the side guns, but I'm not willing to just dig my way through all the... Like, I'm not willing to go and hunt down all the best of the best. And all my strike craft has some level of buff to them, with the exception of those which aren't being used. And we have an active number of three. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I guess there's not much else to go with right now. I'm not going to jettison anything, so let's go and dig with on the bandit hive that's spawning the signal. Uh, let me take a let me take a much closer look at. Be prepared for the fight. Level 15 recommended. Use minigun weapons to defend against fighters and missiles. Find the signal. As we all know, we're basically trying to deal with a mass amount of spam that's being sent at our star system, and Jameson's already taken over our base. So let's go. With these trifectum Skidpuff 9000, please allow me to introduce myself. I am user error 9000 service patch 2. Regrettably, this malware is not accepting surrender applicants at this time. Please leave. You will resume... Please leave your resume, cover letter, and life force at the front desk, and we will be sure to get back to you in a timely fashion. Malicious adware detected, administering antivirus programming. Licking. Wait, no. What in the void is this? How could you make me perform these horrible tasks? User error 9000 encounters love at first sight. You must roll a 6 or higher to proceed to the next life. Next tile. Wow, I'm... Wow, this sucks today. 9000 designates that you should... that you sure do have a purdy mouth. Your interface could be updated to include new features, such as liquid cool data penetration and linear asynchronous trombone polishing. What? What just happened? Skip, is that you? Balls! Polaroid! Gastrointestinal Turbo Defender Root Function Program contains memory partition of given subjects. You will be targeted for nullification. Carl, you're going to have to explain this one to me. Slowly. It would appear that this is what has become of Skid. Judging by his implants and behavior patterns, he has been cybernetically fused with the Turbo Defender Security Program. We should offer it a high paying position aboard the ship, as well as a clearly needed dental program. Oh, that's just brilliant. What can be better than a dumb bandit punk combined with an insane rogue artificial intelligence? I thought we killed both of your things, or whatever. But we don't have time for this. Look, we all hate each other, and that's fine. We know you're broadcasting malicious signals aimed at our base. Just turn the bloody thing off, and we'll leave you in peace. That does not compute. This port does not send or receive emails without proper... 128-bit encryption. You are the harbinger of loneliness and tears. I shall not agree to the terms and service. Return to selling yourself on the nickel street corner to which you belong. Excuse me? You know, if we had more time to do this diplomatically, I don't think I would. Let's heat it up, people. Engaging. Everyone else just engage the strike craft. We're just gonna burn straight past and go after their base. So they actually follow my instructions and engage the strike craft. Because you want to kill the enemy base extremely quickly, because if you don't, it's definitely going to start hurting us. And this base actually has some teeth, which is annoying. We have a lot of cannons on this side, which is partially why I'm showing this side of the base and not the other. But due to our ship's length, the turning radius is actually like, really poor. I'm just going to lay down as much fire as I physically can on this base and hope we get lucky. So far, it doesn't look like we're actually doing any damage to the base anymore while it's just murdering us horribly. Like, are my Starcraft even doing anything? No, apparently not. What is doing this massive amount of damage to me? I can't... Ugh. 
People like to complain in the forums that the strike craft do not matter. And I would say that is BS. Strike craft are the most important thing here. Okay, that's actually a lucky res field. Or a lucky res find. Let's just harvest it. Resource acquired. Aside from that, and aside from that luck, we also did a few other things such as absolutely murderize an entire captain. Now, let's try this again. No need to say anything. Alright. Target lost. This time we're gonna see how much strict craft we need to take down before going near it. Apparently I'm just kind of waiting to see what I can do. As we have enough cannons to instantly keep most of the strike craft we come into contact with, and if we can destroy the vast majority before actually encountering them, because my strategy for most of these bandit bases that I was taking on beforehand was simply nuke them into oblivion and go after the strike craft. That might not work here. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that doesn't seem like it's going to work. That and also trying to aim these cannons in this direction is really annoying. Now we're going in opposite directions, what other? Also, this thing might actually have infinite strike craft. Like, you're not gonna lie, that might actually be the case. In which case, once again, why bother? I guess we'll just turn this into the episode for the day, because I'm not gonna leave you without anything. Alright, we're gonna full burn away rather than continually take fire from this. We should be able to start firing soon enough. Oh, I thought you were... Apparently not. We also got a couple of core recharge. Or a couple of core recharge upgrades. And we're gonna try to boost our shields up before anyone takes another shot at us. Because I don't want to lose my engine again. Oh, it seems like we finally burned through all their strike craft. Huzzah! You don't understand how annoying strike craft are until you don't have any, but your enemy has tons. Also, please, can you destroy one of them? Like, a few couple of good hits, a couple of good hits will take down all the strike craft around us, and we never have to deal with them again. Alright, we're gonna full burn away, because I think the fighters are gonna take us down more than anything else. Also, can you missiles fire and take them out? Like, I have a couple point defense. They're just not doing anything. Okay, are you finished? Like, I'm firing in their general direction. The missiles should be able to hit them from here, considering we're both going closer to one another. Thank you. One more, just one more, and then we can start trying to get our shields back online. Is really just sending more at us? Is this gonna be my legacy? I'm not being able to destroy this thing because it's just gonna keep damaging us. It should stop. It really should stop. Nope, I can't actually employ the firecraft, can I? So the strategy doesn't work. Fine then, we'll try again. We'll try this one final time. I hate the signal so far. Because I just don't have enough strike craft for dealing with this. Skip it. Engaging. Now we'll just try once again. Maybe my strike craft can actually deal with their strike craft. Who knows? It's just a case of me blowing up some strike craft right now. Because I'm trying to burn past it so I don't take a ton of damage from being in all the strike craft. 
but I can't do that because the Strike Crafter would chase me for forever. Also, I should get the bomb away from me. Or away from the bomb, I should say. Can I blow up the... No. Containers. Can one of those containers detonate? Too late. I'm oh so thankful for that. If the containers were just detonated right then and there, everything would have worked out fine. Also, where are all my strike craft? Are they actually not doing anything? range of this thing. Hopefully we can burn through its shields and burn down its health fast enough. Can I detonate one of these things? Just ever. Oh, they don't all detonate simultaneously. I think there goes my engine. Well, once again, an attempt was made. But it just isn't working. I guess... Because uh, it took me so long to get to this level anyway. It took me three hours of grinding to get here from our like level of ten. And it's probably not even going to be this one in particular, because it's probably just a generic base they took. Why couldn't they allow me an easier one? I could go for all level 3 strike craft, but that'll take forever, so let's get through some lores this episode and do some base dealings. They built the, another star base for our faction. We're just kind of sitting around as our faction gets both destroyed and not destroyed simultaneously, if that makes any sense. Also, the war with the Sun Hunters finally ended after like 10 years. Oh, we missed out on grabbing the max res. Hmm, that's disappointing. Like, I'm gonna mess with some lore, it's just... Uh, there's not much else I can do. Because, as we see, going into that fight just gets me destroyed repeatedly. Not going into that fight... Like, I can't avoid the fight. Extracted. Yeah, yes, I'm constantly doing raids on this fine gentleman down here. We'll collect our stockpile of over 4,000 scrap and see if there's anything that's like decent in here aside from engines. Which unfortunately there isn't because every time I tried to have a base here or an ally, they get destroyed immediately and replaced. I think we're still at war with all these people. Are we? We are. <sighs> they all dance around in here until we can get to some. It's also the fact that anyone who's not a part of a faction is either the same level as me because then they don't survive in the galaxy if they're any less or infinitely higher than I am. Oh my god, go away. Just go away. I don't want to deal with you. I'm halfway tempted to just take this on just because, despite you. <sighs> Class, I'm not feeling too well today. So, we'll just read the PowerPoint. The lockdown wars persisted for centuries during an ineffective job of quarantining any pandemics. Res struck miners frequently defied the gate lockdowns for the spreading disease. Following the dark infection, which nearly wiped out humanity, the warp gate network was destroyed. Following a short period of isolation, the combined scientific knowledge of mankind devised a method to traverse space without the need of gates. The res-based drive was invented and became the top-selling commodity that followed hat. The, that following ha holiday shopping season. How many more do we need? Four, or five, uh, four, or five, six. Only six more. Eh, yeah, I might just dedicate this episode to finding the rest of the lores. I don't even know if that'll do anything. It might be just a case of, haha, you got it, now what? I'm also not going to attack that, as nice as it would be to hit it. I think they just blew up another captain. What are you doing? Could you not patrol your base? Oh god. They're burning rubber. Okay, they're just trying to avoid the conflict. 
Hey, give it here. The Res Drive 101. Alright, how does this damn thing work? The Res dr Base Drive allows free flight across the galaxy. Unlike its gate to gate predecessor, it does this by creating a donkey carrot like warp gate signal at a fixed distance in front of the ship. The ship, in an effort to resolve this, is in a constant state of warp motion toward the warp carrot. The ship is oriented by manipulating the parabolic arc of the warp carrot, forcing the warp donkey field to pivot to the operator's will. An undesirable side effect of the res drive is an unsatisfactory edge exit trajectory. The ship tends to exit randomly near large gravitational sources within a few light years of the calculated exit. However, unlike real donkeys, which are often ill-tempered and solitary animals, the warp donkey fields are attracted to one another. This attraction allows ships to de-donkey near each other, overcoming the res drive's accuracy shortcomings. I feel like Shrek right now. It's not a good thing. I love... I would love to harvest some res from this point. Because he's basically got free res resource. Hey, let, let, let me show you how these battles would normally go. Because I'm fairly certain no one's going to bother me. Don't you bother me. Thank God. I was over throwing a fit. Let me show you how these fights are supposed to go. Target locked. This looks about the same. Now does it? It looks exactly the same. In fact, one might say it's supposed to be exactly the same and not that big of a leap in difficulty. Heck, I'm just going to ignore these strike craft because they don't matter anymore. The strike craft only truly matter when you are out you know, when your your strike craft are infinitely better than yours. Which, in all honesty, I think I should just get a batch of level three strike craft just so they can tie up the opponent's strike craft quite easily. Now, one of the uh, tips for this mission was to make sure I have a ton of miniguns, because the miniguns can automatically fire on any fighters and strike craft that get near me. But, honestly, I would need to actively search for those then. Also, get away. Get away before that explodes. And you see how easy that was. You see how easy it was, and how little I have to care about it now. That's how this battle is supposed to go. Not the I circle around you and then just die ineffectually. And thankfully it's worth a nice chunk of experience, which is why I love hunting those level 1 bases. Just there's so few and far in between. Ah, I hate you, Dr. Toxico. Why do you like... Why do you... Why are you near me all the time? Although, why do I have time to do this? Anti-Potty Mouth Initiative. Excuse me. Human history is riddled with examples of reoccurring themes, throwbacks, revolutions, and revelations. One such reoccurrence is the use of colorful metaphors to heighten one's emotional resonance. While it has been a commonplace for even kindergarten children to swear and curse for nearly a millennia, it has recently become a taboo. The anti potty Mouth Initiative is a communal-funded program aimed at refining the human language while increasing speaking efficiency by removing filler slang. The initial overall... The initiative overall has been very successful, while the proposed gore and violence reduction program has not received a single vote. The Friends Don't Shoot Friends in the Face program is not even expected to make it to the voting phase. Interesting. Four more. Just four more of those little nightmares. And I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm dreading I'm even thinking of what a level three would be like. Hey, I'm gonna just, like boost on ahead, you can leave me alone. Something tells me if I tried stopping at that base, they wouldn't even bother. Or they would bother me and just destroy me immediately. So I'm just going to take this lore while I still can. Above the Titan Gates. And we'll just leave. So the final history lesson of today's episode. The Titan Gates. The Titan Gates were created late during the Lockdown Wars. Their intended function was to further segregate the inner and outer worlds as an unbreakable gate. Instead of using an encrypted key code, the Titan Gates had absolutely no power source, requiring it to be spooled up manually by an energy beam transfer. The beam itself was encoded to ensure that even if one would amass the astro astronomical power needed, it would still disallow access. For a time, the Titan Gates were successful, until Carl Memford devised a way to use the Clockworks Deflector Array as an accessor, resulting in the now famous Breach Incident. Interesting. But then again, this is all stuff we already knew. If you guys bothered watching my uh, initial playthrough of Spaz, he would know all these events by heart. 
I see two lores and the third. So the three lores are still on the map, but that's all that remains. As for stuff to do this episode, I've still got about ten minutes. I mean, I can go hunt around for random people who are hostile to me. Like, you're... Hey, Mommy, you're hostile to me, right? Right? Right. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Well, I do, Mommy. And you'll be crying to yourself in a moment. I don't care if I'm gonna kill you. I hate you. I hate you. You hate me. We're a hateful family. With a great big gun aimed at you and me. Let's fight, and then we shall see. I don't know where I was going with that. I just want to kill someone. Mommy hasn't even been that, like, important. I saw him, like, once, and he just attacked me out of the blue. This is just my revenge, and might actually just kill him off. Because why would I want to bother letting him move? There go your shields, and there goes your health. I still can't tell if... No, the thing above him is his shield recharge, or his capacitor power. I'm fairly certain. Well, he's a dead man. Fairly certain he's a dead man. So we're gonna leave. I'm gonna take everything. And we'll let's do a little bit of salvage. Cargo acquired. Nothing else worth harvesting. Uh, we'll do a bit of ship assembly, because I think we can actually now do something with it. I've also learned a few more things of this game, more specifically how to just replace parts in the interim, because I think this brick post is better than what we currently have. Well, we can actually compare the two. No, it's definitely not. Uh, the, and in this case... Hmm... Honestly, I now need to check and see which ones are actually decent. I know this is the rank 3, and this I won't ever bother. I think... Because you're a 1 star, you're a no star, but you're a double laser. Are you a 1 star, or are you a 0 star? Stars are usually better. The 1 star is usually better. And you, being a 2 star, what are you... Oh yeah, that's a three-star double weapon, which is why I always you go to that side. But now we actually have decent weaponry. Those only weaponry spots are filled with something that's actually useful. I'm fairly sure these are both missiles, right? Yep, they're both torpedoes. Well, the one thing I'm really going to need are more miniguns, but that'll be dealt with later. For now, to the star map. And our whopping boost of power. We're 36? Yeah, we're 36 now. Our threat rating is now slightly above that of a goon base. <laughs> Bandit base, I should say. And they lost another potential pilot running around the stars. Let's head back to our own base, though, because I'm fairly certain no one's gonna bother. Or no one's gonna bother us. Alright, to trade. More of to sell off all this useless garbage. And we'll just jettison the junk parts elsewhere. Well, we'll sell them. Wait, I still have a junk part? Equipped? That's not right. That's not right at all. Why do I still have a junk part equipped? Like, if I still have a junk part equipped, I will sell off the equipped piece and put the port glider on there, because I don't need junk. I'll probably just buy all the res that I've stockpiled, because why wouldn't I? And do I have any more? No. This is the problem with this base, is that we're not connected, but I wasn't able to get this horrendously large amount of scrap until I got the base. So, because of this vicious cycle, I was not able to really do anything. But because my faction is basically unable to advance, because they're destroyed by this one, destroyed by this, they've basically been in wars with two or more at any given moment. I just haven't bothered. Anyway, um... 
I'll jettison the junk parts that I don't need, and we'll assemble our starship, because we clearly need another piece. So we had a junk piece equipped. Are you minigun? No, you're missile. Alright, we need to look and see if we can find something of that sort. Or at least find a... No, because this entire faction is our enemy, right? No, it's just Dr. Toxico who hates my guts. This guy's just raiding me just because. I really don't care, though. Hey, Drifter, you're pretty nice to me usually. Do you happen to have any strike craft that don't suck dick? You do. They're just not better than what I currently got. Also, how's my nose looking? Like, you have a good subcore, and I'll probably take that. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, none of these noses are actually particularly interesting. I will take this core, though. That much is guaranteed. Where's my current engine? The turkey neck. No, honestly, nothing else is that interesting to me. Although, I'll sell off a bunch of these people because I don't need them. They're good occasionally, just not all the time. Alright, what's my lowest subcore here? They launch Spire. Get replaced. Alright. Yeah, that's basically a slice of life of what I've been doing for the past couple of hours. I'll probably have to do it for a few more. I don't even know what that judgment thing does. Although, since you don't happen to be here, and res is always in short supply, area exhausted. I will take the 240 res, and we will leave. Um, yeah, sure, we can go out with a bang. We'll fight with more bounty hunter, and then we'll just get going. With almost 40 threat, next episode we should start approaching the level necessary to actively fight them off. I just need another minigun part, or another like three, to deal with most of them, because this amount of gun, this amount of firepower is excessive. Oh, there's a lot of missiles here now. Alright, one of our strike craft went down, but it looks like their base is going down even faster. Alright, that wiped out almost everything there. Let's grab whatever's in this. I don't even look at you, I just blow you up. What is this, though? I'm, I'm curious. Oh, it's just goons. Alright. And we are out. And we're definitely a lot closer to level up than before. I just need to kill off two more of those bases, which shouldn't be that hard. But anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed watching this little slice of life. And I hope to see you all next time. This has been Brainboy20 with Let's Play Spaz 2, and I'm signing off. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe, for they all help out a great deal in helping other people such as yourself find me. And I hope to see you all next time. Farewell.